Benin's decisive support for ECOWAS sanctions against Niger has triggered significant consequences for both nations, particularly along their shared border. The once bustling land border, a lifeline for trade between the two countries, now stands closed, causing considerable hardships for Beninese and Nigerian traders. The impact on Benin's ports, which have traditionally served as the primary entry points for goods destined for Niger, has been profound. The border closure has brought port activity to an abrupt halt, leaving a multitude of trucks laden with containers and merchandise and in an adjacent parking areas. This disruption in the supply chain has led to an unwelcome spike in import prices, affecting the affordability of essential goods. From the autonomous port to the various cities of Benin, Niger represents more than 80% of our trade. In truth, the closure of this border has already had many financial consequences. The state of Benin must understand the suffering of the people of Niger and Benin because they live from this port. When you defend your interests, you must also think of the interests of the people. Remarkably, border trade contributes to a substantial 12% to Benin's GDP, making it a vital economic channel for the nation. Some experts argue that political sanctions shouldn't impede the flow of trade among member countries within the West African bloc. They emphasize that such trade-related measures should ideally be spared to prevent adverse consequences for the economies and the livelihoods of these nations. Benin will be more affected by the closure of its borders than Niger itself. For the first six months of 2023, this closure will have an impact of several billion francs. Benin sends 1.3 billion francs worth of products to Niger, so Benin's economy will feel the pinch. Critics view the decision to close borders with countries neighboring Niger as an arbitrary move, resulting in negative repercussions for the people of the affected nations who rely on border activities for their livelihood. Niger, in particular, heavily relies on vital consumer goods from Benin, including sugar, rice, cereals and medicines. A halt in these imports could profoundly impact the West African country, causing a scarcity of essential products and further straining local economies.